All right, so the Men's Australian Open draw has officially come out and it is looking very, very hard for the defending champion. But let's start with the withdrawals for the men's side. Not too many, only a couple on the men's side. Only a couple. We've got Monfils, he's pulled out. Matrizak has also pulled out. Opelka's pulled out. Alcaraz has also pulled out, which was the biggest name on the men's side to pull out, the number one in the world. And Chilich has also pulled out in the last couple of days due to a knee injury. All right, let's start at the top of the draw here with Rafa Nadal, the number one seed. Of course, 32 seeds in this one. No one gets a buy in the first round. And Rafa takes on Draper in the first round. That is tough. That is really tough for Rafa Nadal. Winner of that match takes on either Nakashima or McDonald in the second round. Uh, then we've got Munar taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Ima or Nishioka, the 31st seed in the second round. Possible 31st versus first. Nishioka Nadal, third round. Then you've got Hashinov, the 18th seed, taking on Morales. Winner of that match takes on either Baez or Kubla, who's been in good form lately uh, in that second round. Then you've got Otto versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Altmaier or the number 16 seed, Tiafo In the second round, Tiafo Rafa, possible fourth round. Replay of the US Open from last year where Tiafo beat Nadal and upset him in that fourth round. That's tough. That's very tough uh, for Rafa in that fourth round. If he gets that far, like I said, Draper's no cakewalk in the first. Okay, let's get to the next part of this draw because it gets even scarier. Hercash, number 10 seed, takes on Martinez in the first round. Winner of that takes on either Sanego or Borges in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Daniel. Winner of that match takes on either Lajovic or the number 20 seed Shapovalov in the second round. Then you've got Korda, the 29 seed, taking on Garen. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Rindanish in the second round. Then you got the wild card Milman taking on Huzla. Winner of that match takes on either Giron or the number seven seed Medvedev, who's in the same quarter as Nadal in the second round there. So possible third round between Korda and Medvedev, possible fourth round between Shapo and Medi, between Herkatch Medvedev, and of course the quarterfinals could be Nadal versus Medvedev. It could be Nadal versus Shapovalov again, like last year. It could be even be Korda versus Nadal, which is no cakewalk either. So very very tricky section of the draw for Rafa Nadal. All right, let's go to the next quarter of the draw. We've got the number three seed City Pass taking on Hellas in the first round. Winner of that takes on either a qualifier or Hichikata in the second round. Then we've got Grixport taking on Quali. Winner of that match takes on either Avashka or the number 32 seed Van der in the second round. Then we've got Musetti, the number 17 seed, taking on Harris. Winner of that takes on either Correa or Fucevic in the second round. Now, Fucevic has done well in Australia in the past, so maybe someone to watch out for. Then you've got Echeverry taking on Barrer. Winner of that match takes on either Edmund, who made a semi-final back uh, five years ago, I think. Uh, he takes on Sinner, the number 15 seed in the first round. So Sinner City Pass, fourth round. And I think they played fourth round last year, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe quarterfinals last year. Either way, that could be a really fun matchup. Unfortunately, Sinner is a little, uh, little hurt, though. He's a little under the weather uh, injury-wise. So let's see if he can get through those first matches and then maybe set up that City Pass fourth round. All right, next part of the draw here, we've got the number 11 seed, Norrie, taking on Van Aish, the Frenchman in the first round. Uh, winner of that takes on either Montero or Lestien. In the second, then we've got Eubanks taking on Quan. Winner of that match takes on either Lehechka or the number 21 seed Chorich. That's a very fun first round matchup. Then you've got Sirandolo, the number 28 seed, taking on Pella. Winner of that match takes on either Mute or the wild card Wu in the second round. Then we've got Molchan taking on Vavrinka. That's a fun first round. Winner of that takes on either Pospisil or the number six seed Felix Ojealiasim. Very fun matchup in the second round, potentially between Felix and Vavrinka. Very, very fun. Uh, if we're going to go for fourth round matches, it could be Chorich versus Felix Ojeliasim. It could be Nori versus FAA. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the City Pass part. So quarterfinal between FAA and City Pass, possibly FAA and Sinner. City Pass Chorich, or even City Pass Nori in the quarterfinals. Very fun matchups. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Rafa section in the semifinals. So maybe we get Nadal taking on City Pass by ranking. If that happens, we could be getting Medvedev City Pass. We could be getting Ojeli Asim versus Nadal or Medvedev and a bunch of other matchups. But man, it is a very top heavy draw, just like the ladies draw. Very, very top heavy. Andre Rublev, the number five seed, taking on Dominic Team, the wild card. That is wild. That is a wild first round matchup. We're going to be watching that for sure. Epic matchup to start the tournament. Winner of that takes on either a qualifier or Rusevori in the second round. Then we've got Gallen taking on Shardy. Winner of that match takes on either Bagnus or the number 25 seed Evans in the second round. Then we've got the number 19 seed Kyrgios taking on Sefulin. Tough first round matchup there for Keegs. Sefulin played well here this time last year. Winner of that takes on either Gasquet or Umber in the second round. So Kyrgios Umber 
certified five setter, as we've seen it many times over the last couple of years. Uh, then you got Cressy taking on Ramos Fanoles. Winner of that match takes on either Krajinovic or the number nine seed, Runa, in the second round. So Runa versus Kyrgios, third round. Kyrgios Rublev, fourth round, potentially. Next part of the draw, Pablo Carina Busta, the 14th seed, takes on Cashin in the first round. Winner of that takes on either a qualifier or Bonzi in the second. Then you got Isna versus Manorino. Winner of that match takes on either a, another qualifier or the number 22 seed, Dimonor in the second round. Dimonor has got a nice draw there. Then you got the number 27 seed, Dimitrov, taking on Karatsev, which two years ago was a five-setter at this event. So that could be epic. Uh, winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Jera in the second round. Uh, then we've got a qualifier taking on Dillian. Winner of that takes on either Bayana or the number four seed, Djokovic, in the second round. Uh, Djokovic, Dimitrov, third round. Carino Busta Djokovic, fourth round. But again, I, I think Nole likes his draw. He's got a very good draw compared to, uh, to Rafa, for example. Quarterfinal opponent, potentially, we've got Rublev taking on Djokovic. We could have Runa versus Djokovic in the quarterfinals, or even Kyrgios versus Djokovic in the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals onwards are going to be tough for Norway, but he has got a good start to the week with those first couple of opponents. I would say are very winnable. And the final section of the draw, the final quarter, we've got Fritz, number eight seed, taking on Basilashvili. Winner of that takes on either uh, Seng or Popperin in the second round. Then we've got Shelton taking on Zhang. Winner of that takes on either a qualifier or Kitchmenovich, the 26th seed, in the second round. Then we've got Schwartzman, the 23rd seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either JJ Wolf or Thompson in the second round. That's a fun first round. Uh, then you got Goff Arn versus a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or Alexander Zverev, the number 12 seed. And Zverev's got a nice draw. But unfortunately, he's not 100% back yet. But we could have Fritz versus Zverev, fourth round opponent, but potentially, um, if we're going by the seeds. Kecmanovic also played well here last year in Djokovic's absence, so maybe keep an eye on Kecmanovic as well. Um, he could play Zverev or maybe even go past Fritz and past Zverev and get to the quarterfinals, but uh, pretty open draw there. I'd say, obviously, uh, Fritz the favorite. And the final section of the men's draw, we've got Berrettini, number 13 seed, taking on Andy Murray. Okay, all right, we'll watch that. That's pretty epic. A uh, huge first round match, and it gets bigger from there because Kokonakis and Fanini will play to play the winner of Murray versus Berrettini. So first, second rounds there are gonna be fun uh, in that little section. Uh, two qualifiers are going to go at it. Winner of that qualifier battle will take on either Souza or the 24th seed, Batista Agu. Then we've got Davidovich for Kina, the 30th seed, taking on Bublik. Winner of that takes on either a qualifier or Paul in the second round. Uh, then we've got O'Connell taking on Brooksby. Winner of that takes on either Machak or the number two seed, Casper Rude, in the second round. This bottom section is wide open. You know, Rude, he hasn't been great uh, this year so far. Been a little bit sketchy. He lost last week in Auckland in an upset. Berrettini Murray, I mean, that's epic. If Berrett Berrettini could get through this section. It, this could be the Berrettini section um, if he can get through Murray and possibly Kokonakis. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Fritz section. So we could get Rude versus Fritz if we're going to base it off ranking. We could get Berrettini versus Fritz as well, or we could get Zverev versus Berrettini, which would be an epic quarterfinal. Uh, either way, it's an open section. I feel like we could get maybe a random player out of this section, but I'm thinking it might be Berrettini. Of course, the semi-finalists between this section and the section above, we could be getting uh, Rude taking on Djokovic based on the seeds. Djokovic Berrettini, Djokovic versus Fritz. Maybe Djokovic versus Zverev. If we're going to keep on putting Djokovic in the semi, uh, I think Djokovic, you know, Rublev's also up there, but I think Djokovic, he will lo he loves it. He's got to love this draw. So there it is, the Australian Open draw for 2023 for the men. And like I said, with the women's draw, it's very top heavy. That top section with the number one seed is Rafa Nadal. Very, very tough, uh, as it was tough for Sviantec as well. But let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who do you think is going to win the Australian Open? Do you think it is Djokovic's to lose now? Because even though he's injured, he does have a pretty good draw. And he avoided the big guns, being Medvedev in that quarterfinal and obviously Nadal until the final. So he doesn't have to play those two very tough players until the very last match. I'm sticking with Djokovic. I mean, I can't not pick him. Berrettini is a dark horse, but definitely Djokovic. For me, it's his to lose.